Hey guys, what is up? It is Peace of Prestige, and before I start this video, I want to talk about something real quick. Now, basically, what I've been doing in the past couple of days is working on a new park, Prestige Heights Season 2, and I decided not to go on with the park from Season 1, like from the first alpha, but start over again in the second alpha. Now that we've kind of learned the ropes of the game, uh, so we can build a better park, and we're gonna start with that right now, so yeah, enjoy! Let's go, let's get to it! Alright guys, what is up at the Speeds of Prestige and welcome back to Building Prestige Heights and this is Season 2 Episode 1 and I'm really happy to finally get to this. Uh, I've been waiting for this a couple of days now. Uh, it's almost been like a week uh, since I've played this and recorded it and now I can finally, you know, make the video. Uh, basically what happened is my Adobe, uh, I, I have this uh, Adobe Creative Cloud subscription and it's sort of ended. And I had this trial, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it again, and I'm gonna, you know, go on with this video. But then at a certain moment, the trial was over, and I was like, shit, you know, now I gotta, I gotta buy it. So I bought it, and somehow I couldn't log in, and I, there was a lot of hassle, and I finally got it to work. So I'm really happy about this, and I'm really happy to finally start this series. This is gonna be an awesome season. Uh, well, I think so because, um, as I said before in the little intro. We've kind of learned the ropes of the game, and now we can really get to building with detail. And I really like, uh, you know, the the game as it is now, the second alpha, you know, with the terraforming and the stairs. Oh my god, the stairs in the paths, they look so good. You can't see them yet because this is just simple slopes, but man, they're gonna be good. Now, what you can see me do here, actually, is this was kind of inspired by Disneyland Resort Paris. Uh, <laughs> I think that's how you, uh, how you say it. Uh, anyhow, it, it's uh, I went there last year, and right there in the like in the start of the park, they have these little gardens, and they have kind of a path going through it, and it's it's really nice. And I wanted to have something like that, and I thought, you know what, let's let's do a pond with a little bridge over it because I love bridges, and <laughs> it kind of just worked out perfectly. You know, just adding some railings to the little curbs right there on the side, uh, it turned out that they fit kind of nice. You know, of course they are they are kind of long. Um, so they do stick out at some points, you know, they're not like totally beautifully conforming to the curve of the curb. Um, but I think it's okay, you know, placing those white uh, little pillars right there, just to kind of mask off the, the like the hard edges, the, the actual corners of the railings, and it just really finishes it off, and I, I really like the way it looks right now. And, you know, uh, since it was inspired by Disney, I was like, you know what, I don't want to make a too much of a Disney entrance you know the Disney parks they have this like hotel entrance that you go underneath and I didn't really want that but there's one type of entrance that I really like and it's basically what we have here in the Netherlands uh, in Walibi world and you know I, I live pretty close by to that so I'm I'm probably going there pretty soon uh, might record some stuff it's gonna be cool but anyhow that <laughs> the entrance that they have right there is kind of a circular path with a um, arrayed building so basically the the ticket booths are in an array instead of a straight line now I'm not sure if that's actually the case in Valley world but I I'm, uh, know for sure that that's the case in Port Aventura where I went like two years ago to ride Shambhala and um, or Shambhala or however you want to pronounce it there's actually a video of that right there on my channel you can look it up you know piece of prestige riding Shambhala or riding the tallest coaster in Europe or something like that um, but, you know, they have these, like, ticket booths that just go around the path. And I really like the way that that kind of gives off a vibe to the entrance. You know, there's... You can just choose whatever, and it just looks really nice and curved. And it's just... It's kind of organic, and that's, like, really what I want with this park. I want this park to be very realistic, uh, like a real theme park. But also be really organic. So it's, it's very nicely shaped, and you have these really logical paths that lead to everywhere in the park and there's multiple ways to get th uh, to multiple points in the park and that's actually something that I didn't do in season one well I call it season one it's kind of like version one more or just alpha one whatever you want to call it but basically what, what I did there right is I just built a path and I just built stuff along it and then I split the path off into two paths and I built stuff along it and then they came back together and then I built some more stuff and then built a coaster and then whatever you know it's just it it didn't really look that great you know from uh, from a top-down perspective and this park right now uh, you can look it up on my Twitter or my Instagram at pieces of prestige or uh, I think even on Facebook or on the creators lounge I have been sharing some pictures like everywhere so if you just look up P uh, prestige Heights 
uh, you'll you'll find the pictures I suppose um, but this part looks great top down because you know I already built the like the first three episode now uh, three episodes now three or four episodes uh, this is just episode one the rest is gonna come soon I'm not gonna be able to do this daily you know it's just that I got a lot of stuff to do um, it's just you know I work eight to nine hours a day and then you know besides that I got other stuff to do uh, so now every now and then I can make a video but it won't be like scheduled or whatever I'll just do it whenever you know I have the time and I feel like it and I hope you guys are okay with that because I love doing this anyhow let's continue with this um, now you can see here the arraying of these structures is pretty difficult um, <laughs> you know I thought like oh this is gonna be easy I'm just gonna align like the the windows to be perpendicular to the path and right here it, it kind of worked you know it's it's just not perfect and I, I didn't really you know want it to be 100% perfect of course it's nice when it is um, but I, sh I what I should have done actually is put some walls in between the little structures uh, to act as a guide that I can like just double uh, well double turn if that makes any sense like I could just have the angle between two of those little ticket boots and you know half that uh, I would put the wall in between so it would be a very nice and smooth curve but I think in the end it worked out pretty nice you know with the with the curves um, and right here I, I love these little corner pieces that we have now the, um, the the little stone like corner pieces right there that you see on the walls they gri they give r great detail to your buildings and I think there was something you know with the roof moldings it wasn't really you know possible to do that well you can make little like cornerstones or um, little trims with them you know if you just embed them into walls but it wasn't that easy to do because when you place one you know the geometry or the the face that your uh, mouse pointer was on would change and then the whole geometry will be different and you gotta align it and it's, it's all difficult and right now with the new like you know with this piece uh, this scenery piece it works great and you also have like a uh, a new way to place scenery and that is with the XYZ axis basically now what that is is when you press X while actually like holding an item it places it in the space right where you had it on the mouse pointer and it brings out three axes the, the uh, well just the, the simple XYZ axis and um, what you can do with that is fine-tune the placement and then when you press X again you get into the rotation where you can rotate it around three different angles and then if you press it again, you go back to, you know, the moving and then press it again and you go back to ro rotation. It's just toggle it back and forth. Um, and when you actually press the left mouse button outside of the object, so in the space, it will place one right where it is. But it will also keep the item in that editing mode in the same place. So you can just move it to the left and it will be 100% perfectly aligned with the previous piece. And that just makes for great construction for roof spires and simple roofs, um, you know, wall trims or whatever. You could even now make cornerstones that look pretty good with the roof moldings, you know, if you have enough space in your walls. And I think just, you know, the flexibility has increased a lot. It's, it's you know, this update, oops, I'm sorry, I hit the mic right there. But, you know, this last update, this previous update to Alpha 2, was like enormous the terraforming the scenery new scenery pieces i saw that well you know silverhead is going to be really happy about this there's like these roman uh pillars and what whatnot you know you, you can really make some awesome stuff now and i can't wait to see what they bring out in the third one i i, I hope in the third uh update there will be actual uh water and well i th i think so i'm not sure if you guys er heard anything about that you know let me know um, but I can't wait to edit the water and put actual realistic water in this game. It would be so amazing to finally do that. And right here, I wanted to add this little, like, a roof to it. But I didn't want to, you know, make the roof across the entire thing. Just on the front a little bit. Um, and I thought, you know, that would raise up the building, you know, a little bit. You know, make it a little more, 
you know, tall because when you look at it, it's, it's got to be like this big thing that you go through. Uh, it's not supposed to be as big as, of course, a building like the hotel in Disneyland, but you know, something that really is obvious to see like, oh, now I'm going into the park. And this is not really even the actual entrance to the park. This is only the ticket booths, of course, because as you saw, the, uh, like the paths that go through the ticket booths, they align. Well, they kind of come together in the end, um, you know, behind this little building. And then that is later going to come into a little turn to the left slightly uh, from the center. And that's gonna go to the actual entrance gate, which is just a very simple generic building like this. Um, but, you know, I really love the way that when you kind of know the controls and you kind of are familiar with the game, it's so much easier to do stuff. And I, I really like the way that, you know, you can just let your creativity just unleash your creativity. You know, you can, you can do whatever you want in this. And that's, I think, um, you know, what's, what's great about this game is just... It's just so easy to build something, but you know, the kind of it, it kind of has a steep learning curve. Um, you know, in the in the beginning, you really got to get used to it. I, it took me a couple of hours to get used to the new placement tools, the X Y Z axes and the rotation axes and that kind of stuff. Uh, but I think, you know, right now I kind of got it on lockdown. You know, I, I'm still not the best, of course. Um, <laughs> it's gonna take a while for me to be able to do. Um, to build really like whatever I want but right now I can get around with just building structures and spires and that kind of stuff you know I've been practicing a little bit uh, in the time that I wasn't able to build a or actually to record a video and I'm just <laughs> I'm so excited for this you know I'm just I'm really happy I can finally put this out there now I was wondering right um, do you guys actually like the music in my videos? Because I really like country music, and I kind of, you know, I have this uh, this site that my uh, YouTube partner um, thing kind of gave me to get uh, uncopyrighted music, and you know, I don't want to put the uh, the dubstep on there that I like did right before the EDM uh, from No Copyright Sounds, if I'm correct. Uh, I did that for a pretty long time, but you know, now I'm really, really into country and. Yeah, I just I just kind of want to know you guys' opinion, you know, because I, I really find it, like, laid back and chill to listen to. And especially, like, when someone's talking and you just hear it in the background a little bit like this right now. You know, I, I really like it. It's just this really nice, light uh, genre, basically. You know, you also got, the, like, the hard, the hard uh, country and, like, the, the harsh ones. Um, but, uh, <laughs> you know, obviously, I don't really use that a lot. Um... So, yeah, tell me what you guys think, you know, if you think like, well, you know, this music sucks or whatever, tell me why, I, I'd really like to know. Now, here again, it's kind of repetitive what I did here compared to the first pond, you know, just play some of those fountains there, which, by the way, are great, uh, but there's no actual, like, little bridge over this thing because it's too small. I just wanted it to be kind of a, a nice little green thing to walk around. Uh, when you go to enter the park, you know, just a little distraction like the fountains that you have at Universal Parks or uh, actual Wallaby World uh, has that, you know, they have this um, This globe this big globe where the, the actually actually there's a wallaby right there Sitting on top of it, which is kind of like a kangaroo But then smaller and more cute if you don't know what a wallaby is you can definitely look it up It's a really cool animal such an exciting animal and it's just <laughs> If you know where that's from you're awesome, but um yeah, that's just, you know, it's uh, just a little distraction. Now, another fountain here. I love the fountains, by the way. I, I said that, like, a, a minute ago. The fountains are fantastic. You have these little fountains that go off, like, every couple of seconds. Like, these right here. I actually placed these. I, I'm not really happy with them. I kind of want to, like, a... Um, a stream that doesn't end, you know? I, just a constant stream of water going up. Instead of this weird, like ejaculation fountain that I have here um, it's kind of a really weird thing that I just don't really like but you know it's uh, <laughs> I can always fix that later now right here uh, these little like XYZ axis things they also um, work great for buildings you can actually place buildings down like that and just really control the way that you know you place them down and this is the way the park looks right now in the night I really love the benches. I love the way that, you know, the lights, um, I'm not sure, they're not any bigger, I think, but I just really like the way those street lights look right now. 
it's you know it's a little too modern i also want like normal par uh, park lights like you had in roller coaster Tycoon 3 but we'll see how that goes you know it's um this is all we got for now i could actually like make a little standardized um pole with some arms sticking out and some lanterns on there or whatever um something that would work it's uh we'll see what we do with that you know it's um there's it's gonna be a long road from this point on and it's gonna be an awesome road i hope you guys are gonna stick with me because there's a lot more coming and it's coming pretty soon now here this little building uh i wasn't really sure what i wanted here you know i put a i put a toilet in it just for the sake of it you know to have a building that the peeps go in and out because you know peeps gotta go to the toilet sometimes um but basically what this thing is like in some parks you have this little office area where you go like well for instance you want to buy a subscription uh, pass to the park you can go to a little like sort of a just not like the regular cashiers they don't give that out but then you gotta go to this little like um, office where you can buy them and this is kind of that but it kind of turned into a toilet building uh, I really like the way it looks though I put these little like windows on the roofs to make it look like solar panels and I think that worked out great it looks really cool it looks kind of eco and eco friendly um, you know with a lot of plants a lot of foliage around it these little green hedges they work great for uh, well actual hedges um, these green bushes that's what that was the word I was looking for bushes alright so you know that was pretty much it for this episode already and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. So until then, thank you for watching and peace from Pieces of Prestige.